All right, Ryan says put this thing in time lapse for the day because that's better for him somehow. So that's what I've done. Don't blame me. That's his favorite setting on these GoPros. What's up guys? We are here at Black Mountain. Finally, we got in late last night. Chris got here, it took him a whole three hours. No, no, it was like two hours and six minutes. Yeah, well, yeah, it was like nine out. and a half hours. But I didn't me. drive to Black Mountain. I drove to Broke Black Mountain. Oh God, yeah, I forgot yeah. about the shirt. Yeah, so. I'm gonna have to put a blur over that. No, it's all right. It's perfectly fine. We have mature fans. <laughs> well, we, uh have kind of a special reveal here but first just kind of talk a little bit about the trip we uh yeah, well, like I say we're black mountain already. it's been uh, over a year since we've been here love this place great park uh this and hawk prod are my two favorite places so i'm really excited about it we're here for cherry and i are here anyway for four full days so it's gonna be great hopefully we'll be able to cover pretty much the whole park and brian and jessica and ricky are coming tomorrow uh, we got another surprise there with Brian and Jessica coming but um, we'll do a video on that later uh, and then Sonny and Cammy tomorrow night tonight. oh tonight okay tonight and then I think that's everybody isn't it that's everybody yeah unfortunately oh, Benjamin said he may come so hopefully he'll show up but so uh, yeah I already said them oh, sorry. so we got H here Hello, people. H, Hello we haven't showed anything yet. Uh, what, what have you been working on? Well, I've been working on a little project for myself, obviously. Um, it was time I had a buggy, so I made a buggy. And this is the buggy that I wanted to build, not what somebody else told me to build. So my buggy is a little bit different to the others. Well, Better late than never. H has been toting around that full body and going up everything. We've been going up in tube chassis. And now he has this. Best looking tube chassis I have ever seen. And it's not even close. Obviously it's not powder coated. Uh, he just wanted to do a shakedown ride. See if there was any bugs with it. There usually always is but the lines on it it just is sick i'll let h tell you all a little bit about it but i'm gonna do a quick walk around of it but as usual h knocked it out of the park it seems like every build keeps getting better and better except for the first one he built that's the best one ever Going the axle, ZRP suspension. Tell us a little bit about it, H. What's different about it? What's different about it? Um, well, it, it's got a dual ride height, static, so you can. It's not. Finished. Check this out, y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm not finished with it yet, but it's. it's yeah, getting I'm just gonna pull it up for him. So. Um, Chris has been working out. <laughs> How about that? So it runs at 16 and a half, 17 inches here, and I can drop it down to 12 inches in the low setting if I want to get on it a little bit and have a little bit more stability. What did you name this sweet ride? Sorry? What did you name this sweet ride? Um, this, this one is 007, and so this one is Skyfall. Skyfall so is the name of the buggy. Sky is up, fall is down. <laughs> So eventually the switch inside the buggy will be Skyfall on it. What color are you going to do? Blue. blue. Nice. He's going to powder coat it blue. Same, same blue as Chris's. And, um, it's and got the ZRP on. knuckles on the front, RCV axles, 35 inch Rockzilla tires. Uh, the whole 
chassis on this one is an air tank. So the chassis on my buggy, the air tank was just in the cage and would barely do a tire, but was still better than a little electric pump. But this one, the whole chassis is an air tank. So it does two things. One, it'll put a tire up real quick, but also it'll tell you if there's anything cracking on your chassis or whatever, because you start getting an air leak. So, so the air horn on this one is <laughs> really loud. <laughs> Really loud. You you're gonna love. Right in front of it. You're gonna love me with this one. I actually had to put a, a restrictor on it because it was so damn loud. It's over there, close on your side. Jeez. Nice. That one's loud. Just what we need. So, anyway, so yeah, it's uh, got the built-in air tank, r adjustable ride height, real slick lines. The seats are buried down to the skid plate, so it's, I don't know, it's, in this low setting, it's a good foot lower than Chris's, so. Yeah, it really did turn out awesome. It's just a different look. It is, completely different than anything he's built before. Obviously, you see three more lined up there that he built, but, dude, it just looks like a rock bouncer, man. Those tires are massive, but, got Chris's here, how much bigger it looks. And then Charity's. And then 15 over there but anyway once we do uh or once h powders it uh we'll do a really detailed video on it uh, but he's been killing himself for the last four months yeah. since sunnis was finished i've really beat on it really yeah. crazy beat on it well i think it was worth a worth that, all the work it turned out incredible those tires those 35s are over 50 percent the height of the machine in the low setting yeah yeah it looks like a bouncer <laughs> well, all right guys i don't know what we're gonna do today contrary to what chris believes i don't have a plan for this trip we're just gonna go out there and ride I don't believe that I and don't. uh see how it goes hopefully uh hopefully we'll get some good footage uh like i said h testing his buggy out and um yeah so i hope y'all enjoy the series
It's pretty rowdy at the top of that one. Ask H if he needs a hand. Josh asked, 